Hi, folks, it's Ron. Here's a safety tip with tracing live circuits with the SureTrace Circuit Tracer here from Ideal. And that is when you're using the test leads and the outlet plug, the uh, alligator clips, or the blade prong lead adapters that are supplied with the kit, it's important to remember that the potential for an exposed hot conductor exists if both test leads are plugged into the transmitter and one of those test leads is connected to a hot conductor, then any other exposed tip of the second test lead is also at or near hot potential due to the conduction through the transmitter circuitry. Now, the current is limited to just a few milliamps and is unlikely to be dangerous, but it still presents a shock hazard or at least a startle hazard. And the safest way to avoid this is to trace the neutral conductor in a circuit whenever you can. But that's not always possible, so I will describe here the safest way to trace a segment of a hot conductor along a section of branch wiring between two outlets on the same circuit using a remote return path to ensure that we get the strongest signal to trace. First off, take the three and 25 foot connecting leads plus two of the blade adapters supplied in the kit and fit the blade adapters to the ends of the leads, noting that they'll only fit on one end of the lead. Then uncoil the leads and lay them out along the route they're going to be taking. Now, bear in mind that they'll be carrying live voltage during testing, so be sure that they are not in an area the public has access to or cannot be immersed, obviously, in things like water or susceptible to some sort of damage. Plug the blade adapters on the end of the long lead in the hot socket of the first outlet. Then plug the blade adapter on the short lead into the hot socket of a second outlet on the same circuit. And then finally, plug both of the free ends into the transmitter and turn it on. Now you'll note that the lightning bolt will not appear on the receiver in this case since there is no voltage across the transmitter's terminals. And when finished, you're gonna reverse the order and unplug the leads from the transmitter, then remove the blade adapters from the outlets. This technique will ensure that you remain protected from coming into contact with the hot potential of by the shrouded jacks on the connecting leads. And following these tips will keep you safe when you're tracing live circuits with the Sur Trace Circuit Tracer. So call Ideal's customer service line or visit our website to find out more about the Circuit Tracer and a local distributor you can buy one from. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with Ideal, and I'll see you on the next one.